Hi, I'm Rose from thejennyrun.com. Today I'm gonna to take you along as we mulch and work on our back porch. We're getting ready for our daughter's graduation open house next week. It is our fourth child, our fourth open house. And so this one feels a little less stressful than some of the others have been. We're doing a dessert bar. And so next week I'm gonna be showing you how we go about making that, my list that I make ahead of time, and of course, I always find new projects to do when I have something like this going on. So this time I decided to stencil my back porch. So I'm gonna show you all the details of that today. And then next week, I'm gonna come back and show you the details of the party and how I plan for that. So let's get started. To get the beds ready for mulching, I need to go through and pull all the big weeds and preen everything else. Our son Jalen is a landscaper in the summers and he has been so kind to help us today. All of the flower beds in the backyard are on a hill so mulching becomes a little more complicated. I'm gonna pop inside here for a quick snack because I eat every two and a half to three hours. I have been doing this thing since uh, the first part of April where I just eat five times a day. I eat every three, two and a half to three hours. I have lost 15 pounds. All my COVID weight that I was trying to get off came off in a little less than two months because of this eating and it hasn't even been hard. And so I'm pretty dedicated to it. in and getting my snack. I feel like a little kid. I pack snacks, my husband's doing it too, and I pack snacks for church too. Me and him, we get granola bars during church. But this is one of my favorites. It's just this um, Oikos Triple Zero. So this is mixed berry, but you can get all different flavors. And then I use the Keto brand granola and just take a little handful of it. I'm not great on doing like a plan because then I get off and on so it. So I just try to really narrow in on what's working for people. And then I was like, honey, I'm gonna be your health coach and we're gonna lose weight. And that gives us accountability. So sometimes I'm going to talk more about that, but today I'm just gonna eat my granola and my yogurt. I might need to take him a granola bar too because it's probably about time for him to eat too. screened-in porch has plexiglass that we keep in over the winter and we kept it in a little longer this year because it was so cold out but today Jason's going to take it out my big project today is repainting this floor it got all scuffed up from the last time I painted it with this gray paint so let's try again we are getting ready we've been clearing out the room getting ready to sand this floor down this was tile and I painted it with a latex paint that was four porches, but I never sealed it. And so because of that, it just has lots of scuff marks. You can see kind of the red underneath it where it's scuffed here and there. So I'm going to sand it down per instructed by the Lowe's Paint Center. They were so helpful.
So this is the product that we're going to put down on the floor next after we have sanded it. We're going to put this lock down. It is by Sealcrete and um, it says it's just great for previously coated surfaces. So since this was already painted, we're gonna go ahead and put this on top, let it dry for two hours. And then after that, we can paint it with our top coat. After painting the entire floor, we let it dry overnight before stenciling with our chalk paint. Tonight I'm going to be making homemade creamy mac and cheese, or as we like to call it, grown-up mac and cheese. I start with one half of stick of butter, two cups of cream, and then I use white cheddar, Monterey Jack, Parmesan, sharp cheddar, and I add all of these together to make a creamy, cheesy mixture. Before I bake it, I add some crumbled bacon onto the top. I cover it with foil and bake at 350 for about 20 minutes. The stencil that I had on hand was too large for these small squares. So Jason is cutting it down and making me a new stencil that will only include the middle circle. Next, I use a small amount of chalk paint, dab it onto a paper plate, and then use that fairly dry brush to dab onto the stencil. If you're wanting to do a project like this, make sure you have plenty of time. It took me approximately 15 hours to stencil all of these tiles, 594 tiles to be exact. This is the paint that was recommended to me, this Valspar porch floor and patio latex paint. And I got that in black. Underneath that, of course, I have a sealer and um, I'm hoping that will keep the porch from peeling. On top of all of that, I'm going to apply at least uh, two layers of the poly acrylic to try to keep it sealed down and keep it from chipping. Thank you for coming along with me today. It was a lot of hard work and I'm still waiting for the poly to dry, but oh my goodness, I'm so glad to be on this side of it and I don't have to worry about stenciling that again. Come back next Thursday when I show you how I'm planning for my party and you can find me every day at Jenny Wren Design on Instagram or on my blog at thejennyren.com. You can also find my macaroni and cheese recipe that I showed you earlier today there at the blog.